these kids have been told they're scary and these kids have been told, you know, they're not deserving and so how do we make them feel like they are? So this is the milieu, so when kids have free time, they're out of their rooms, this is usually where they're spending their time. My name is Lauren Swinney and I'm a registered nurse at Child Study and Treatment Center. I'm from Tacoma area, born and raised, um, went to school at University of Washington is where I got my bachelor's in nursing. Been here most of my life. This was my first nursing job. Let's go. Thought I wanted to work with kids, maybe more like even NICU, but now that I've worked with adolescent youth, I think that's where I want to be permanently. So they got their overarching overview of what DBT is. So I think that a lot of people start at CSDC because they want experience to see if psychiatric care is a good fit. So DBT stands for Dialectical Behavior Therapy. We talk to them all about dialectics, what's the advantages of it. Many people are surprised when they actually step foot into one of the cottages that it actually doesn't feel like a hospital. We do have them set up to make it feel like it is a little bit more of a home-like setting. You know, on our youngest kid's cottage, it's pretty colorful. There's books all over the place. There's age-appropriate toys. And so some of those things you wouldn't necessarily expect when you think about a psychiatric hospital, but we really try to create that space here. I mean, one of our biggest things here too is we're building trust between the climber and the goal. Yeah. Because that's just like a really important aspect to have. Drive on. That's so cool. So a group that some kids can earn is rock wall climbing. They do this with our rec therapists and they come in and they do a four week class um, and it really helps boost their confidence, team building and building trust with their anchor. A lot of our kids come from different areas in the community where they've been you know, taken advantage of in some sort of way or they've never built a family or relationship with adults. And so a big thing here I think is just letting the kids be kids and then learning how to trust adults or just trust other individuals in general, whether that be their peers, a teacher, a counselor, a nurse. <laughs> There you go. If the kids can kind of connect to one person, you know, it's one step closer to being able to like break down these walls that they've built up and learn to let people in. And then in return, they're able to express themselves. And then that starts the whole process of dealing with past traumas they've had or building those coping skills. You know, I've been here for probably close to 10 years, just in different capacities. And I would say one of the most rewarding things for me is not only to see the growth here, really you're trying to prepare them for when they leave here. So that way they have an opportunity to be successful at home, back in their community. And so to be able to get the phone calls a year after a, a youth discharges and they're inviting you to their graduation or they're telling you exciting things that are happening in their life, like they're getting married, their first job. Um, those things are really exciting and I would say that's much more common uh, than not. You know, I, I have some kids who have left eight years ago and they still call and check in and say, this is what I'm up to. Um, you know, CSTC changed my life.